Slavery in the 21st century, it takes hard for us not to be held in such misery. Somali foundation controlling the streets of Asia, not turning her back to Cambodia. We're a small team that went to Cambodia, the Somali mom house there, and we taught uh, the young women and the children. The idea was give each girl um, black and white paint and then they choose one color with it. And they start with shapes and then they can blend it however they like. So it was great to give them a little bit of a basis to go off of and then just let them transform. And we all came together and worked on two large murals. And one of them we actually brought back with us to have professional artists complete for this next fundraiser at Toshi's. Freedom is a very important word, and freedom is power. And this is what freedom is about, expression of art. For me, it has a special meaning also because I have a little girl. All I know to do uh, is art, so here I am, uh, working for, for this great cause. Mom told me stories about how she came to this country. She ran away to get us out of the country, and she told me that a lady that actually brought her to escape Cambodia was one of the traffickers. So she told me a lot of stories and I just feel like I needed to help. Giving is receiving, that's just my motto. Every human being has a responsibility to give back. Where they see pain, they should try to do something to alleviate. Where they see poverty, they should try to do something to alleviate that poverty. I wanted to use art as a medium to educate and teach with other people who are not aware of the subject. Giving them an opportunity to learn about it in their own pace, in their own way. Because I'm a graphic artist, I saw this and I was immediately connected to it. I thought it was really beautiful that the survivor decided to paint a heart despite of what she went through and really spoke to me. The little girls taught me so much about what it means to be a woman and they're so much younger than us. Just like the inner strength that women have and what community and sisterhood and love can cultivate. I feel like it's great to be a part of what the kids will create and it be the continuation of it. That way, when they see it again, they're going to see life is a big open space. And that will be a good spirit for them and for me too. I think it's important for artists to give back because you just never know who you're going to influence or who you're going to make their day brighter or encourage. Times were when they would just grab your hand and like pull you to go dance with them or sit next to them and draw with them and they just wanted to share. And uh, that kind of openness is just something that I think everybody needs to learn. One of the girls came up to me and grabbed my hand. I just gave her my hand and she just wrote on my hand. I looked at it and I read it, I love you. And I just, you know, of course melted. I was like, oh, this is so beautiful, you know. It's such a touching thing to do, just so giving and loving and sharing. There was one little girl uh, who really just touched my heart in particular so much because she was so funny. Like she was always doing something mischievous with the paint and, the, you know, taking the other little girl's painting and just making us laugh the whole time that we were there. I just thought, these girls have been through so much and they have such a joyful happiness about them that I feel like none of us really has an excuse to, to be sad about anything. So I hope maybe the colors in their lives are much brighter now than they were before. I suggest that you come to this event. It's going to be a joyous moment. Uh, please bring your dancing shoes, roots, beautiful music, making people dance for a good cause at the same time. So, I mean, it's a win-win situation. What was yours? This is real and it's happening to little girls, but little boys too. All around the world, you need to let them go.